Hello everyone, hello and welcome. Greetings and happy moment wherever you are. I hope you're doing great. This is Jennifer from Personal Power Life Coaching and Jennifer Tarot Spiritual Guidance. Thanks for joining in our Power Magic Hour. So it won't be for a full hour, but it just sounds good and smooth off the tongue. So today we have a Personal Power Life Coaching Insight for you for May 16th to May 17th, 2019, for what's going on for you at this point in your life. And basically, um, we are using the tarot cards as a tool and a mechanism by which to open our consciousness and tap into or reconnect with your intuition, with your higher self, with your inner voice and guidance from the space of wisdom and peace and well-being. So today's reading, we have with us a message of when your plan doesn't work out and when you had an idea of what you were going to do and then it fell through. So starting out with the chariot and then the two of swords and finally the advice of our queen of swords reversed. And starting with the chariot reversed, this is telling us, it's telling me that we perhaps thought something would work out today, between today and tomorrow, or something that isn't moving forward. So whatever it is that you were intending for, that you were planning or thinking of achieving, well, that plan, you may need to reconsider or reevaluate if and possibly when things don't work out exactly the way you organized it or even imagined it or decided that this is how you want it to be yesterday or the day before or the week before. Because when plans don't work out, it just means that it's the way it was supposed to be, honestly, because that's what, that's what happened, right? There's no sense in fighting against the apparent reality. So the first key into finding more inner peace and harmony is for us to just be in peace, be in a calmness and accept what's happened, it's already done, and to move forward and to even embrace the changes because these are beneficial changes. And it's not the changes that you thought would come about from implementing, executing successfully completely your plan or project or aim or even the meeting if the meeting doesn't work out or your expectation for your evening or weekend doesn't work out remind yourself that that's okay and the key now is to slow down take a step back if you need to and to reevaluate because you're constantly evolving every day your consciousness can evolve further and further and the more that you're aware of that possibility within yourself, the more you allow it and that you enable it. So perhaps you are comparing yourself today to who you used to be or to what you did before, like you accomplished something before that now you want to repeat or have happen again. And it's not happening. It's just not, it's not taking place the way that you thought you wanted. So the key now is to know that while you do want to move forward, you do want to take action, charge ahead, achieve your goal, achieve your intention, know that the energy is lining up and that you've changed, you're a different person, you're a different being, and you're not who you used to be. So do not compare yourself to your past image of yourself. And as we remember that in moment to moment through life, we'll have more peace of mind and ease when things don't work out because you are not who you are in the future and you aren't today what you used to be before because your thinking has evolved. It's evolved somehow, so you know different today than what you used to do. And so be in the moment here okay connect with your true core here in this moment today now not who you used to be not what you used to do or accomplish that is the past and it's only a memory what is important now and what is truer is to be fully present here and now and conscious 
conscious of what you're thinking and honoring yourself more fully to make present moment decisions from slowing down. So that's really important is to just slow down in your decisions, especially if your plans don't work out because that's good news. It just means that you're gathering more information. And today, this, this message here and now is just reminding you that it's not the end of the world. Life goes on and you continue to get better and better. Okay. And so, as we embrace that reality, we can move forward and know that perhaps we don't know, like you're caught between making a decision of two things or choosing between two sides. And as if you are bound or tied and that you don't know really what to do. And that's okay because deep down your inner being, your consciousness and your wisdom, your higher self, always knows exactly what to do and we you can connect with that voice when you go into spaciousness of meditation quietness when you slow down and when you don't react so much to every single thing you think okay slow it down and even though you may feel like you're bound or tied and you can't see which way to go completely, it's a passing phase and we all go through this and it'll happen again because there are moments when you don't know and there are moments when you do. Sometimes you're decisive, sometimes you're not. And that's just a moment in time. It doesn't define you. It doesn't make you anything. It doesn't label you any particular thing. You are just the thoughts you're having in this one moment. So be more compassionate with yourself. Invite yourself to just absorb what's happening and let it go. Sort of that's why she has the waters or he has the water in the background to remind that you're just always, we're, we are just always experiencing turmoil in our thoughts, which affect our emotions, and then those affect our decisions and actions. So this is why I included the quotation from Shakespeare's poem, To Be or Not To Be. And I read the full poem today from Hamlet, and or the excerpt because it's a much longer play and it is really a beautiful written a beautifully written piece because it just highlights that contrast and that juxtaposition between between living and living in the turmoil and the difficulties of life and daily experience versus dying and basically killing yourself because you want to put an end to it and yet what holds us back is that we don't know what's on the other side. You don't know what awaits you if you were to do that, which is why you still are here in living form. And one reminder is that we can't know everything, we won't know everything, and life invites us and encourages us constantly to embrace the, the not knowing and that liminal phase of, of, of passing through the threshold, ambiguity, it invites us and reminds you to be okay with the ambiguous unknown space. Be okay with dwelling in not knowing because at some point we always not, we don't know all the time, okay? So as you become more skilled and adept at navigating those choppy waters of not knowing at certain times in life, they pass more smoothly and it's not a big deal. And you know that this is going, this is just a phase in the process of you getting to a new point in your evolution and consciousness. And, and then it'll take you to the next level because you're moving to the next level. So it's okay when things don't work out. Something even better is coming along. If the relationship doesn't work out, 
Well, know that you don't really have to choose anything and no one is holding a knife to your head even though you do it to yourself. See, the symbol of this card that reminds you is that the pressure is always coming from the way that you are interpreting the events or the event. So give yourself the benefit of the doubt. Give life the benefit of the doubt. There's something much bigger going on that supersedes our human understanding and capacity to comprehend. Dwell in that space of wonderful spontaneity, serendipity, ambiguity, and give yourself the leeway to feel good even though you weren't living up to your own standards, okay? And finally, the advice. The advice is for us to take into our heart the Queen of Swords reversed. So what does our queen make us think of or remind us of? She invites you to take on the attitude or the mindset of trusting yourself, being more objective and logical, less emotional in making that decision. If you need to make choices between today and tomorrow and this weekend, be more practical, more pragmatic, logical, and consider the, the benefits and the disadvantages of taking either action, not based on what your heart is saying or what you think your heart is saying. Again, that's only a thought. What you really want is to tune into your innate wisdom that's always there. But that wisdom isn't always loud. It's not boisterous. It's not aggressive. It's not, it's not even so obvious. It's just that subtle background ease and peace which the, the world, life circumstances, conditions, the food that we put in our body, even those factors, they affect our neural pathways. So the point is that when you slow down, you reduce the momentum of taking any kind of hasty action. And now you can guide yourself to intentionally make decisions that are, that are logical, sensible, where you are choosing to feel good, but from a long-term wise self perspective. Because it's not just about what's happening in this one minute, but it's about how you're evolving constantly. It's a journey, it's a process, it's progress. It's one step at a time one day this is why there are cycles so that we can measure and track things in our way so you take it moment to moment you reduce the intensity you step back take a deep breath even meditate and you just allow so trust your own decisions when you've relaxed yourself and finally, with our Queen of Swords, it's reminding you to step into your power by making your own decisions and not relying on others' opinions, not deciding for yourself based on what other people think or taking a public poll or a survey on what your family considers or what your friends or neighbors would do, etc. No one knows better than you, and it's important now at this point in your life to decide for yourself what you want and what you decide and choose for yourself. Because no one else can do that for you, and no one else can do it as well as you would for yourself. Not truly, and not for your whole life. So it's about being practical, objective, more aligned and more directed and focused and at least declaring and affirming what it is that you do want for yourself you do want to feel good you do want to have a nice moment you do want to be successful or you do want this kind of relationship or this type of life or you want that financial freedom whatever it is when we at least affirm it to ourselves, you're moving in the direction. 
and notice that sometimes we can't even start there because that's the work and that work indicates that maybe you need to increase your sense of self empowerment and self love self trust self belief more independence and more or perhaps more balance in your own life in your thinking because it's always about you and you your relationship with you and i feel that eventually this is why we've got the two see cuz here we have the masculine and feminine you have the light and the dark we've got the two swords two sides duality this is life on earth we have two sides there's always two faces to the coin and if there's more than one face then it's not a coin <laughs> So that's our guidance for today. So allow yourself to embrace those moments of not being sure and not knowing. It's okay, but just reiterate to yourself it doesn't make you anything less. It doesn't make you less meaningful or worthy or less lovable. It just means that you're being a human and we're all human because we're all here on earth. Otherwise, you would be flying as a bird and you would have a different existence. Or you just would not be here in physical form listening to this video. So, this is what we are. We're in this human body, in this flesh and form. And it's about learning how to work within this vehicle of transportation, our energetic transportation while you're here living and walking or breathing and being on Earth. So that's it for now. This is our personal power life coaching message and empowerment guidance with our tool in our toolbox of the tarot deck. And I trust that it will bring you great illumination and inner peace and even healing if that's something you need to do on a spiritual level. Because ultimately we are firstly and fundamentally spiritual beings. We are energy within a human body vehicle. So let us honor and celebrate this life and to embrace it and to love life and to give thanks every day for your life because God, our creator, whatever you believe in, if you don't believe in God, then that's cool too. But Whatever it is that gave us this human existence, we're here. So let's make the very best and most wonderful one that it can be and honor it and respect it and enjoy it and cherish and boost it, bringing more and more love into the world and it starts with you. So even if it's just you in your own house in four walls, make your life better for your own sake because you deserve the best. That is all that life wants for you. Just go for it and take it easy and go slow. There's always time to run and there's always time to walk and time to sit and sleep and eat and we're always breathing. So connect with your breath, inhale deeply. and let it out. Thank you, friends. Many blessings and sat satisfaction, happiness, and success to you on your journey. And I'll see you soon. You're welcome to share this reading and sending you lots of love. And see you soon. Namaste from Jennifer Tarot, Spiritual Guidance and Personal Power Life Coaching, your daily direction for greater inner peace. Bye.